All right, we've finished the side of the truck. Now we're ready to move to the hood. What we're doing here is we're going to lay the hood up in two pieces and we're going to run the seam up the middle. So we've taken a sheet and we've laid it on the hood. We've got a little bit of overlap in the center. And I'm just going to trim this out with a pair of scissors. Leave yourself two or three inches extra. You don't want to come up short, so leave yourself plenty. You trim that out so you don't have so much material to work with. Make it on those edges. some more of this backing off. You can see with this material you just you keep pulling it back and working with it. If you get any wrinkles just pull it back and start over again. And as you come around the corner of this truck on this curve, it may become necessary to put a relief cut in it. The other thing you can do is put some heat on it, like a hair dryer, and that'll make the, the material a little bit more limber, and it'll, it'll work around the corners a little bit more. I think what we'll probably do is uh, we'll get a heat gun or a hair dryer, and right here where this curve of the hood comes down and it's rolling this way, it's kind of wanting to pucker up a little bit here. And instead of making a cut in it, we'll put a little heat on it and uh, see if we can't get that to lay flat without cutting into it. We're, uh, we're right here on this front corner. And what I've done is I'm putting a little heat on that. And I'm going to try and get it warm enough where we can conform it around that curve. And it was wanting to pucker. And I could cut it and make a relief cut in it. But by putting a little heat on it, it makes the uh, vine a little bit softer and makes it uh, more pliable and it conforms right into that curve when you do that. So that's another, another little tip and trick you can do is uh, apply a little heat to your camo clad on those curved edges and uh, it'll eliminate the need sometimes to make a relief cut on it. Basically where you get a compound curve is where you're going to have to make your relief cuts or you're going to have to use your heat. That's basically your curves that are, you know, two, two ways. We've got a curve that's running this direction and we've got a curve running down this way. And that's where you get into the areas where you need to either apply heat to it or if it's, if it's too much of a curve you'll just have to take it and uh, cut it like we did back there on the back of the cab. But up here on the hood, um, the curve was not that great, and uh, so we went ahead and used the heat 
and got the camel clad to conform to that curve by using some heat on it. Just follow that line. Just keep your blade flush against that edge and turn it right on out. And go back with your squeegee and make sure that edge is down real good. down to the roof here. We've taken our measurement across our roof and cut it in half. We're going to run this seam right down the middle here and uh, we're going to put the first half on and we'll uh, come back and cut the other side and lay the second half on. We'll, we'll have this project about done. <clears throat> we're going to expose about four or five inches of adhesive. Line it up over here on this side. Again, you can see you can pick this up and put it back down as many times as you need to. Make sure your piece covers all the corners down there. I got to lift that up again. I got a wrinkle already. A little tough to reach all this. Have to get a ladder or stool or something, chair or something to stand on so you can get up here. Sometimes you'll get a roof that has actually ribs in it. And what we found the easiest thing to do is just cut strips and lay there in between the ribs. A lot of times it's kind of tough to try and tackle the whole piece at once with the, with the roof. Especially if it's not smooth like this one. You'll end up with a lot of, a lot of uh, problems with trying to go over those ribs. So on a, on a roof that's got ribs running down it, you'll just have to cut strips, take measurements and cut your strips lay them in between those ribs and then come back and do the top part of the rib. We'll just pull a little bit more of the backing out from underneath it. completed our truck. We've fully wrapped a Chevy truck now in camo clad. We've shown you step by step how to, how to do it. There's not much to take care of. Basically you can run it through a high pressure car wash. You don't have to worry about that. Um, it's great for keeping the scratches and the limbs off your truck. Uh, the road, the rocks that, that come off your tires keeps the chips and stuff off your paint job. It's, a, it's like giving your truck an armor coating and uh, it'll last for a long, long time. I've, I've got it on products that have been on there for 10 years. So uh, it's, a, it's an awesome application and uh, hope, you, uh, hope you enjoy your product and we'll hope to see you in the field real soon. Uh, don't forget to visit our website at uh, camoclad.com.